In this video, we show you how to use timer mode. The purpose of timer mode is to set heating cycles for your fireplace so that it will automatically switch between the home and away, also known as the day and night modes. Remember to put your fireplace in standby by holding the small flame button while in manual mode. Timer mode has two heating cycles so that you can set two temperatures each day. Each heating cycle has two time events. The time events represent the start and stop times of each heating cycle. Let's say I am gone every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I want my fireplace to keep my home at 75 degrees in the morning when I wake up and 70 degrees when I get home in the evening. Here is a chart to represent what I would set my time events at. As you can see, the first heat cycle begins at 7 a.m. and ends at 9 a.m. To set these time events, use the set button to navigate to timer mode. Press and hold the set button until the time begins to flash. You should also see the sun icon with P1 next to it. This signifies the start of my first heat cycle. I'm going to set my first time event for 7 a.m. To do this, I use the large flame button to adjust the hours and the small flame button to adjust the minutes. To set the end of my first heat cycle, I press set again and there should be a moon with P1 next to it. I'm going to set this time event for 9 a.m. If I press set again, I should see another sun with P2 next to it for the second heat cycle. I'm going to set this time event for 5 p.m. Then I press set one more time and I see the final time event, a moon with P2 next to it. I'm going to set this one for 9 p.m. If you only want one heat cycle, you can set the time events for the second cycle, P2, sun and moon, to the same as the second time event of the first cycle, P1 with a moon. Thank you so much for watching. For questions and free estimates for fireplaces, barbecues, hot tubs, and so much more, visit us at www.maplemtnfireplace.com or give us a call at 801-489-5052.